Hey everybody, it's me, Sung One, and today we're going to be opening up another Freedom Japanese Market box. Thank you, Freedom Japanese Market, for sending this. If you want to get your own, if you use the link below to buy one, it'll help support me. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, this is soda gum. It's long, soda-flavored gum. Yup, it's gum that tastes like ramen. -ay. Tangy and sweet. Now this looks interesting. This is Urakara corn, um, and this is garlic-flavored. And usually, um... I forget what the other one's called. So there's like a sweet version of this that's like usually like sweet flavors. I've never had like the savory kinds. I like that a lot. It's not afraid to be too garlicky. It's got a nice natural sweetness of the garlic and then it hits you with that nice, you know, savory, garlicky um, taste. Um, it just, it's really nice. It's a really good blend. Um, the puffs are nice and puffy and crunchy. Here's Lucky Cone. Uh, this is salty, bite-sized pieces of puffed corn. Um, sweeter than I was expecting. Actually, they're pretty sweet. They don't taste as much like corn as some other corn snacks I've had, but they're not bad. But they are a little too sweet for me. Here's some cream Koyon, uh, sweet wafers, and this one's lemon-flavored center. They're these little, little cookies. He's nice and thin and crispy, and inside has a nice, sweet, vibrant yellow... Yellow. I mean, yeah, technically, um, sweet, vibrant lemon cream. Almost like frosting. Here we have two Amiibos. This one's sugar rusk, so it's a sweet one. Like, um, sugar rusk is like a... basically bread covered with sugar. And this is grilled beef tongue, which I've had before. This one has a really nice beefy meatiness mixed with a good sweetness. It does have a nice grilled, smoky flavor. And then this one, which I don't think I've had before. That's pretty good. Not only is it sweet, but it has a buttery richness to it that I wasn't expecting. Um, at least not from an Omaibo. You know, usually sugar or rusk has that kind of butteriness, butteriness, but this captures it pretty well. I've had this recently. This is Salka no Tane Ramune. They're like little um, watermelon candies that look like seeds. Just crunchy little sweet watermelon candies. Here's a Umi no Ikimono gummy. Looks like you can make your own sea creature gummies. So I'll do that in a separate video. Um, here's Ichigo Mugi, a uh, strawberry flavored chocolate that are made to look like pieces of rice or something. Cause I thought these were rice, but apparently they're just chocolate. I think these are grain. It's grain, it's not chocolate. So I think I've had these before. Yeah, these are basically puffs of grain covered in strawberry cream. Here's Coco Bolo, um, cocoa flavored puffs. Like this. They're kind of like cocoa puffs. They have a slight marshmallowy smokiness to them. So they taste more like hot cocoa. They're like hot cocoa puffs. Here's a little gummy vitamin C. Um, apparently it says you can get your daily dose. <laughs> like this little muscle man on it. It's very sticky. It's kind of hard to get out actually. So it's so sticky, I can't even get it off the plastic. Um, but I don't think I'm missing out too much. It tastes like a vitamin. Not bad, but like a vitamin. Here is onigiri senbei. Soy sauce flavored rice crackers shaped like rice balls. Oh, that's cute. Good solid senbei, nice crunch, mm, a nice soy sauce flavor. Salty and savory. And here's Otsumami Time. Uh, these are soy sauce flavored mini rice crackers. These are definitely much crunchier. Almost like corn nuts or something. I like these better. Well, no. I don't necessarily like them better. They are very different from the uh, other ones. These have like almost like a smokier, nuttier taste. Also came with this cute little origami, so that's cute. All right, if you want to get your own Freedom Japanese Market box, use the link below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.